Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashen Leather and I wanted to show you some private stock wallets that I'm putting up on the site right now. There's a bunch of new private stock items of course, but we also have some new one shots and two shots available. And many of the things that I'm about to show you are things that I've never seen before. If you watched the video that I put up yesterday, we captured and documented this wallet here and the creation process behind it. It took a good amount of time to just to film that and something that's new for me and I had a lot of fun doing that and I just think the result was totally special. So this is the first private stock item that I'll be showing you today. We've got black western shell cordovan on top of some garnet shell cordovan on the outside and on the inside here we've got a couple special things going on. On the left side we have a nice little Horween ink stamp on a piece of reversed western garnet shell cordovan. And we were actually calling this one ghost because you see sort of like the reverse side of that Western texture, which is really neat. And then we also hand glazed this. So it has a really nice finish to it. We hand glazed the centerpiece here and put a nice little one of one from January uh, this year uh, to commemorate this special piece. And on the right, we have some more Western garnet shell cordovan. I really love this component. If you'd like to see how this piece was made, definitely check out the video from yesterday. And before we get into more private stock items, I wanted to show you a couple new one-shot card cases. So this first one here is ultraviolet, but it's a raw ultraviolet. So you can see it starts off a little bit more dull. It doesn't have the normal shine and luster that a regular piece of shell cordovan has, but the way that the raw shell ages is really special. And the other one-shot that's going up, this one's actually an irregular for pretty small reason but this is a western color eight shell cordovan piece and i just love this western texture and we've been getting more and more of it recently which i'm really happy about you can see if you look really closely this stamp for the ashland logo was placed on there twice so we're putting this one up for a little bit of a discount and i have nine different two shot card cases the first one up here this is a raw denim blue shell cordovan piece and i really like this color an awful lot it's sort of a more vibrant blue when you compare it to the intense blue that we were doing before and again the raw denim and all the raw shells in all colors have a really great ability to develop a patina the luster would definitely increase just with normal use on this guy here's another fun piece this is a reverse green on top of a dark green shell cordovan on the front and we have some dark green shell cordovan on the back and you can of course find all of these two shots under the two shot product page. But this one is sort of the inverse of that last one. We've got dark green shell cordovan on top of reverse green shell cordovan on the front and on the back, more dark green shell cordovan. Let's take a look at another green piece here, but this is a tumbled verde degree, which is sort of green. And it has a really interesting depth of color and texture. You can see the peaks are a little bit darker, sort of like a tipped effect, and the valleys are a little bit lighter on the tumble fair degree. I really like that a lot. And then we have more raw natural on the center here. And in the back, we have some more raw natural. Speaking of raw natural, I think this one is a really good demo of the raw natural because we have raw natural shell cordovan on top of the regular natural shell cordovan. And you can really get a sense of the difference in luster and color from this piece right here, just laying the two on top of each other is really neat. On the back, we have more raw natural shell cordovan. And I like this one a lot. Some really interesting die marks on this piece. This is a reverse color eight piece, and we've got a nice little Horween ink stamp, a little partial piece of that stamp sticking through the top. And on the back here, we have garnet shell cordovan, which is the most red cordovan color that Horween makes. And here's my favorite shell cordovan color. This is the amaretto shell cordovan. I just love this sort of vibrant orangey tan. And it has a really great color range to it. It sort of shifts color depending on what angle you look at it. And of course, and more amaretto on the back here is just amaretto through and through. And then here's something a little bit different. This is a reverse Western ultraviolet on the front here on top of raw natural shell cordovan. And there are two of these, but they're a little bit different. So I'm labeling them number one and number two. So this one is number one which is uh, a little bit different than the other one. But this one has this really interesting die mark going across the bottom right and some other random die marks there. On the back of this one, we have more raw natural. I think this is a really good use of the raw natural because you might want to put this back piece into your pocket, touching your leg on this side. And I expect the raw natural to wear in very nicely uh, from doing that. And let's look at number two here. And this one has sort of like a color fade 
where it's a little bit more of those magenta dye marks on the bottom and it fades up to a little bit of a lighter color on the top. And again, this is that reverse Western texture. So we're seeing sort of the negative impression of the Western that's actually on the uh, other side of the leather here. But I think the reverse side of that texture is also really neat. This one also has the raw shell on the back. And getting back to our private stock stuff here, of course you saw the video, or hopefully you saw the video of us making this, and we were inspired by another wallet that Amir made, and the other wallet is right here. This was actually a tall Tony, and we decided to take the same aesthetic from this piece. So we've got black western shell cordovan on the outside with a contrasting red stitch going all around it. I really love seeing a huge context of that pattern piece. And on the inside, we have garnet, uh, garnet western shell cordovan on top of black shell cordovan, and then center here is garnet shell, then we have black shell, and then garnet western again on the right. And I really like the way that this interior looks. And we're only able to do this clean look on the inside and the outside, sort of this centerpiece being shell, because this is a tall Tony. Normally we can't see full sh uh, clean shell because we have the uh, piece here usually flipped the other way around. So the tall Tony is a great way to get a little bit more of the shell side itself on the inside and on the outside. And check out this piece here. This is a remarkable wallet. This is another tall Tony in the Western shell cordovan, but this is Western ultraviolet. And I just love this color. It's sort of like a deep purple sort of magenta at some angles. It's a really uh, fascinating thing to look at, especially with this texture. What's really neat about this one, in addition to just that shell being really nice, is we've hand stained the edges and waxed and burnished them to match that color of the ultraviolet shell cordovan. I think the result is uh, very, very nice, but check out the inside. This is what sort of blew me away. And what I do at Ashland when we're doing with the private stock, I sort of let the team loose to make things that inspire them. And I'm so glad that I've done that because the results have been incredible. So on the left here, we have ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of reverse ultraviolet. And we've got all these little great dye marks to show off. And then we have ultraviolet in the center and then sort of mirrored effect on the right where we have reverse ultraviolet underneath some ultraviolet on the right. I really like this tall Tony. And here's the last Tony the Ant to show you. This one is our normal Tony the Ant where we have a little bit of a bill slot thumb notch here and it's not fully covered to the top. We actually started doing those tall Tonys because some uh, non-US dollar notes stick out a little higher, like some of the larger Euro sizes and yen will stick out a little bit from this thumb notch. So we had people around the world asking for this bill slot to go all the way to the top. But this one here is in whiskey shell cordovan. This is one of the most sought after colors of shell cordovan that Horween makes. It's a nice golden yellowy tan shade. On the inside here, we've got some neat stuff going on. So whiskey, garnet, a reverse garnet, and then reverse whiskey on the left. And the reason I like this one is because the way that the reverse shell cordovan wears when it rubs against the shell is a little bit better than shell on shell in my experience. I just like the way it wears and it makes it a little bit more easily finished and polished in when this will inevitably scratch and scuff just from the action of rubbing around in your pocket. This is a really great whiskey shell cordovan Tony the Ant. And we're going to move on to the big brother of the Tony the Ant. This is the Fat Herbie, my personal favorite wallet style. And check this piece out. This is a bison English tan Dublin piece. And the bison texture, uh, or all the bison sides, seem to have a little bit more pronounced texture. More of these striations and natural character in the leather that I really like. And then, of course, you get that great color of the English tan Dublin and the great feel, all the grain character is uh, super nice in all the Dublin leather. And the Dublin is just... Uh, like the next level of all that. Let me give you a look at the inside. We have more English tan Dublin on that bison. I think this is a really clean look. Take a look at this super bright color here. This is a leather called Waxed Rockford from Horween. And it's a little bit more soft, uh, a little bit less dense than most of the leathers we use. It is a veg and it is a very bright color, which is not often found. So it's a really neat look and very pronounced green on this Rockford. The other cool thing about this is we have more of it on the inside. So if you love this color, it's sort of the brightest blue that we've ever done. It's got a really great feel in the way that these age and wear in are very nice. Here's another Fat Herbie. This one is Whiskey Shell Cordovan on top of Reverse 
uh, shell cordovan in the center. And this is actually a reverse marbled black shell, like you can see in the center here. It's a subtle marbling on the black shell, but this piece is really neat uh, because we've added some additional hidden card slots on the left and on the right. So we've got garnet hidden slots underneath some amaretto shell cordovan. Again, that's my favorite shell color, sort of a nice range of different bright shell colors on this Fat Herbie. And here's something funky, sort of like the Tall Tony. This is the Tall Herbie, where we've got the bill slot going all the way up to the top. And I think this is really neat uh, because I like seeing a huge piece of shell cordovan. And the color here, this is whiskey shell cordovan with a box board texture. That's a pretty cool look. And on the inside, we've got more of that box board texture, but this is the color eight box board with a nice Horween ink stamp in the center. And one more fat Herbie to show you. Uh, we're gonna try to move quickly because I got a lot more things to show you. This is a special, special piece. This is tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. And we get that great sort of greenish blue shade with all these little bits of color depth and texture in the tumbled shells. It's just really neat. You sort of get a tipped look on the tumbled fair degree. And this one's a double reverse. So we've got the tumbled fair degree on top of reverse tumbled fair degree on the outside here. And on the inside, each of these card slots are reverse tumbled fair degree with fair degree in the center. So you get to see the shell side and the reverse shell side on the inside as well as in the outside. This one has also been hand stitched which is a little bit of an upcharge for us and it's a really special piece to put it on. We're kind of starting from the larger wallets here and moving down but this one here. This is our Passport Field Notes holder, which is uh, super large. It's actually designed to fit either a Passport uh, or Field Notes on the inside. And we made this one a little bit differently. Usually we don't have them symmetrical on the inside, but there's two card slots on the right, two on the left, and then this larger slot for a Passport or Field Notes on the inside uh, of each of these large slots. And this one's been left open on the left side. The other thing that's cool about this one is the leather. And it, for me, it's always about the leather. This one is Russet Brown Dublin, which is like a dark brown with sort of reddish undertones that you might be able to see on the spine there. And we get all that green character of the Dublin that I can't stop raving about. Okay, moving our way down in sizes. This is actually a jumbo a Giant of the Fox. And this one is a little bit larger than our regular Giant of the Fox because we've added some additional card slots and bill slots and bill dividers on the inside. But on the exterior of this wallet, we've got a beautiful piece of Color H Show Cordovan, the classic Show Cordovan color. Take a look at the inside here because this is where it gets fun. So we've got those additional card slots. Normally on the Johnny the Fox, we have three on each side with two hidden card slots, one under each of those three stacks. But on the Jumbo Fox, we've got one, two, three, four on the left and four on the right with a hidden card slot underneath each of those. And the other addition for the Jumbo Fox is this bill slot divider here. So that's what makes the Jumbo Fox a little bit different. It's also uh, a little bit larger. Let's try to compare that for you. It's a little bit taller. Um, but this Jumbo Fox is really neat because we've got reverse color eight on the left and reverse black on the right. And I like the combination of these two reverse shell cordovan pieces together. And I sort of teased this one by accident. This is a Johnny the Fox, our standard bifold size. But this one is really incredible. And I might have a hard time showing just how magical this piece is. But we've got a texture print on top of some marbled shell cordovan. And this is almost like a marbled cigar underneath. I don't see as much red as I normally see. It, it might be a marbled black, but kind of looks more brown um, than the marbled black to me. But some, let's call this marbled cigar <laughs> underneath, but it's just a really, really neat look on this piece. And let me give you a look at the inside again, because this is reverse color H shell cordovan. I like reverse interiors for most of the wallets, again, because of how they rub in and wear uh, just a little bit more easily filled in once this is worn in. If I didn't mention, you can find all these on the flash sale page. I'll be putting these up by the time you see this video. I've got two Johnny the Foxes here that are gonna be up as quilted raw natural shell cordovan. And that's this crazy character on the outside of the wallet here. I'm calling this quilted, um, just cause uh, I'm inspired by guitar finishing a lot and they tend to call it like a quilted maple. It has a similar look to this that I just love. And actually when Tiger King, the Tiger King show on Netflix came out, we made a wallet that kind of looked like this and we thought it'd be funny to call it Tiger King. And I think this might be the first time 
We've seen this this type of leather come back since Tiger King has come out. The reason there are two of these is one of them is irregular and one of them is sort of normal. And the normal one is here. It's flawless, beautiful piece of raw natural shell on the outside with that incredible character. On the inside, we have a reverse color eight shell cordovan, a great Horween ink stamp on the centerpiece there. And here is the irregular for this sort of quilted look. This one has some very, very small little bits of dirt or something in it. There's very small pieces sort of right here and here on this piece of shell. I just don't feel comfortable selling this one for full price. And the last giant of the fox to show you, this is a really neat piece. This is denim blue shell cordovan. It's slightly darker than most of the denim blue I see, but it's very, very vivid in the undertones. The blue that comes out of this, especially when you take this outside into the sunlight, is very vibrant. It's a very nice blue shade. On the interior here, black shell cordovan. And that is a really clean look with the blue shell on the outside. And we have a Bugs Moran in the batch today. There's only one, and it's this guy here. This is all reverse black shell cordovan. We ever get to see this sort of greenish, um, bluish green shade of the reverse shell cordovan. And the black reverse is this color. Uh, and it tends to range from about this dark to sometimes like a lighter tan. It still has a bit of green to it. But the way that the reverse shell wears in is very, very nice. It gets really bright and shiny. And it will even get a little bit darker in color. And of course, we have the reverse shell on the inside as well. I wanted to bring back two old hits for us. This wallet here is kind of like the Bugs Moran, but it is asymmetrical. And this is a wallet that we made a lot of uh, several years ago. I sort of de-emphasized it because we had a lot of different products on the site, but I still really like it. This is a minimalist card holder that we call the Louis Little New York. And take a look at this beautiful piece of Color 8 Shell Cordovan. Just really great, bright, shiny luster on this guy. So the idea for this one is to have a front pocket wallet where you can hold cards and cash and keep the form factor down to as minimal of a look as possible. So on the left, I like to put two or three of my main cards on the left side here, and this larger slot on the right will fit US dollars folded in half, or you can just put more cards on that side. What's also really neat about this, again, is how it folds asymmetrically, which is sort of just a unique look. But we've also skived and turned this edge on the uh, one side of it to give it a little bit more of a unique look. And here's sort of another old hit that we've, we haven't, stopped making them, but I stopped promoting them as much as our other stuff. This one is the Machine Gun Jack. And I like this guy mostly as just a card case, just to carry around maybe six to eight credit cards. I know a lot of people like to carry cash in this as well. It fits cash, but you have to fold them into thirds, which I don't think is ideal, uh, but people do successfully use this with cash folded in half. It just sticks out a tiny bit here and doesn't fold absolutely perfectly. But this piece here, this is actually navy shell cordovan. It's a little bit more of a darker blue shade when you compare it to something like the intense blue or even the denim blue shell cordovan. And let's take a look at a couple crazy Frank the Enforcers. This one here is really cool. I don't think we've used this leather in the center very often, but this is basketball leather in the center. It's sort of that orangey color that uh, is found. This is actually the same leather that's used for all the pro balls, but we've got that sandwich between some amaretto shell cordovan, and then we've got a contrasting bright blue stitch, which I think is really neat, but check out the back. I like this idea a lot. This is actually basketball as well but it's the reverse side of the basketball, which is sort of like a suede look. Uh, it's definitely a suede, but it kind of reminds me of the Marine Field Shoe Chrome XL. Um, I've just never done it in the basketball before, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Here's another really neat Frank the Enforcer, and this one is Raw Natural Shell Cordovan with a marbled cigar piece in the center here. And we've also got a dark brown hand stitch on this guy, which is really neat. On the back is all the raw shell cordovan, so this one's going to age very nicely. And I have a bunch of watch straps and Apple watch bands to show you, but I wanted to get through some of the wallets here first. We've got two more wallets to look at, and this is a Capone money clip in the whiskey shell cordovan, that rare cordovan color uh, that we often get asked about. And I like how clean this one is without the ink stamp in the center. Usually people are asking for the ink stamps, but um, for some reason this one, and I like the ink stamp as well, so don't get me wrong, 
but this one just has something magical about how clean the interior is without it and a nice counterpoint to that whiskey shell capone this is an all reverse whiskey so you get to see sort of if it was all flipped around that's what we've got here but this piece has something special it's, as the other one had no stamps this one has all the stamps so we've got the horween ink stamp on the back of it but this is the horween measuring machine stamp which people have been asking us to put on them it's a little bit more of a digital look but that stamp is put on each piece of leather that horween measures to just to denote the uh, size of whatever piece of leather. So this was 1.4 square feet on whatever the shell that was. And on the inside, more reverse whiskey shell cordovan with a Horween ink stamp in the center. And I do have a bunch of watch straps on the table here and one special surprise after that. Here's a key fob, an amaretto shell cordovan. Again, my favorite shell cordovan color. On the back side of this one, we have the Horween shell cordovan stamp. For all of you that have been uh, into the Horween Shell Cordovan stamp, this is a good key fob for you. But let's take a look at some of the, I have the uh, Apple Watch bands here, and this one is super cool. This is Denim Blue Shell Cordovan with a Western texture. I really, really like the blue shades that are coming out of this particular piece. And I'm not sure if it's because of the texture or not, but that is just super super nice we have another colorful watch band here this is actually a leather called essex which is similar to the dublin leather but does not have that wax finish applied to the grain so it's a little bit less of a waxy feel it's a little bit more oily and soft but this particular leather is extra thin on that bright orange latigo we've got a hand stitch on there as well let me give you a look at the back side i like this little x up stitch on the back keeper here and i have a couple box board pieces to show you this one first, I actually had a hard time figuring out what color this is. I'm pretty sure this is cognac shell cordovan with uh, with whiskey shell cordovan. So these keepers are a little bit more golden and yellow than the band itself. And I like how these the stitching matches the keepers. So we've got a sort of subtle brown two-tone color going on for this whiskey and cognac uh, box board Apple Watch band. Here's another Apple Watch band, but this is a box board uh, amaretto shell cordovan. In that my favorite shell cordovan color a little bit more orangey some yellow vibrance to the shade as well and here's another this is another great western shell cordovan piece and this is on the classic color eight shell cordovan let me give you a look here because we have have the uh, smooth color eight shell cordovan keepers on this that give a nice little contrast to that western texture and all of these apple watch bands have black hardware on them and this one here is cigar shell cordovan it's pretty similar to the color eight a little bit less red burgundy vibrance to the other tones it's more of like a true brown but this is with the gator texture and i think that looks awfully nice and this one is not an apple watch band this is a 22 millimeter two-piece watch wrap so if you've got 22 millimeter lugs this is a really neat piece and marbled black shell cordovan sort of a greenish color range to an orangey tan shade and all the little colors in between this one we've actually accentuated more of those orangey tan shades with an orange hand stitch on this piece which i think worked out really well and the last watch band this one totally blew me away and i hope i can capture just how nice this one is on the video but i'm not really sure i've ever seen a leather like this before this is a lizard texture on top of a marbled black shell cordovan piece and there's something again magical about the texture on top of the marbled um coloring just a really dramatic look on both of these pieces and i hope it shows up here because the undertones where it gets a little bit more of like a subtle orangey tan to it contrasting with the green and then the texture all throughout i think is really really striking all right we did it we got through all of the private stocks and we're going to end it here with a shell cordovan baseball these are super tough for us to make but every time we're able to get one uh, just right, I'm really happy. But this one is black shell cordovan with a gold foil Horween shell cordovan stamp as well as a gold foil Ashland stamp on the other side. Really happy with how this one turned out. And the couple people that were able to pick up these balls from us before, uh, one of the things I like best about it is it's sort of like a perfect desk toy because there is a little bit of give to this. So you can kind of use it as a stress ball or maybe just more of a standard like a desk ornament. They're definitely fun to look at. And then this one, we've never really done any gold foil stuff before. So I think this might be the first appearance of a gold foil anything and uh, probably one of a dozen baseballs that we've actually made. So thanks for checking out all the private sock stuff today. I'm going to have to pick two stunners today. I thought it would be too obvious to pick the Capone from yesterday's video. That one was just 
super, super nice. But this one here, this Western Ultraviolet Shell Cordovan with that really interesting mirrored look on the inside is totally amazing. And then also this last watch band, I really hope this works in the video because this thing in person is just out of control cool. I've never seen anything like it before. So hopefully you enjoyed all the items in the video today. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And again, you can find all of these on the flash sale page of ashtonleather.com. So I hope you have a great weekend. And until next week, take care.